Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Acer Aspire 5 A515 series laptop. I'm going to show you how to get in to access your storage and your memory if you need to replace it or upgrade it. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have these five along this edge, these three down here on this edge, and then these three across the middle. So quite a lot of screws here. After you get those screws out, guys, use a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. Go all the way around the seam and gently but firmly pry off this bottom case from the rest of the computer. And if you get stuck somewhere, don't keep forcing it. Go the other direction, um, meet in the middle, and in doing that, you'll get this bottom case off. After you do, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, just as a general rule, guys, before I go touching anything inside a computer, I like to either remove or at least unplug my battery. Um, the idea is to get as little power running through the computer as possible to avoid damaging anything. Here's your battery down here. This is a 15.4 volt, 54.6 watt hour battery most of you will have in this model. It's got two screws on either side if you want to physically remove it. And it's got the battery plug right here that in this shot looks kind of purple. So in order to unplug it, you would remove this black piece of tape. And instead of pulling on the wires, guys, I always recommend not pulling on wires. Instead, put your fingernail on either side of this port or use a pry tool on either side of the port and just wiggle it out left, right, left, right until you can get that out of the motherboard. So after at least unplugging your battery, uh, this is your single RAM port here and this is your single solid state drive M.2 port there. Now, most of you will already have four gigabytes of onboard RAM integrated into this motherboard that cannot be removed or upgraded. So this is your single port right there where you can add additional RAM in addition to that four gigabyte. Um, so you can max out your RAM, but you have to do it with just one stick. Um, now, the way to physically operate this port, guys, is if you have RAM in it, these two spring-loaded metal arms here on, on either side, the upper and the lower, you would put your fingers on those and gently pry them apart away from the RAM stick. That will release the RAM stick. It should usually even pop up, and then you can grab it and, and slide it out of that port. To put it back in, you can only put it in one way, the correct way, because there's a long port and a short port here. So you can only get that RAM stick in the right way. And then once you get it into there, you just pop it down, press it down, and these spring-loaded arms will grab onto it and hold it in place. As far as your solid state drive, there's a single screw right there that releases it, and then you can slide it out of this port. Now, if you guys want a list of upgradable parts like your RAM or your solid state drive or any other replacement parts like the battery for this computer, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description with all of the upgradable and replacement parts for this model computer. Um, I'll also put below in the description the specs for the solid state drive and the RAM. So if you're looking yourself, you can get the right ones. So I hope this helped you out, guys. Get into the computer correctly, access these two parts. Um, if you had any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It can save you some time getting an answer. If you need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to check those all the time. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.